While I was packing for my most recent trip, I thought of a new packing method, and I wanted to share that with you. We have Nathan and Ollie with us today. I want you to pack in whatever method is easiest for you. So this will just help you make up your mind whether you're going to use the rolling method, the folding method, or a mixture of both. I fold because it's just faster for me. So I pack in a compression cube instead of a regular packing cube. My compression cubes come in a set. And the reason I bought these probably five years ago was that the set of six included two large ones. My old packing method was to pack those compression cubes, two of the large ones, across my carry-on suitcase, okay? As a pilot's wife, we have been flying standby for over 20 something years and we only pack in a carry-on suitcase so that we don't delay the flight if they need to get our luggage out of the belly of the airplane when we do not get a seat again. <laughs> so my old method was to fold my clothes and then put them in the compression cubes going sideways against the length of my carry-on suitcase. And some of my travel tips have been pack underneath there, pack in between the suitcase handles. But today, from that set of six or seven now cubes, I am only going to pack in the small cubes. Tip number one is to have your socks, your undies. This is called a tube cube, and you can throw in hair ties, socks and undies, electronics if you are not real organized with them. But I have put my socks and undies in there and my silk pillowcase. And then I just zip it up. You can also use old um, Amazon bags or the free newspaper bags or something like that. But look at the shape. See how it is oblong? That is going to fit in the length of the carry-on suitcase. And because the top is rounded, I'm going to fit that in the rounded corners of my suitcase as best I can. Those do not have any compression in them, by the way. I forgot to say that I will put my other socks or whatever does not fit or whatever can fit in actually a shoe shape in my shoes, all right? And then I use their awesome shoe bag, which each set comes in. This is not sponsored, by the way. Um, but one tip is you do not always have to pack your shoes together. This one's nice and large. So for this trip, I just packed them there, okay? One other tip I thought of before you pack in a carry-on suitcase with your vacation outfits, you're going to put the items that need to fit in there, like your shoes you're going to be packing and your liquids bag maybe, if it doesn't go in your personal item bag, your makeup kit or toiletry kit, and then your electronic organizer. For most of you, the electronic cords case and the liquids bag would go in your personal item bag. But that's just an item just for you to visually say, okay, now I only have to fit in my vacation outfits. It's less overwhelm. Before we pack, we've got to think about our excursions and the weather that we checked already. And I knew it was going to be raining, so I packed water resistant shoes. I have that rain jacket that I'm going to pack. I knew I could wear the jeans as my travel outfit, as well as into restaurants where we were going. And then one of the days it was supposed to be sunny and after all the rain and so I have those shorts. I have a whole packing system that is called the one, two, three system. And I encourage you to watch that when you're choosing your vacation outfits of what to wear and what not to wear. Um, but another version of their cube sets, I will pack my sports bra and then my pajamas. And then one thing that I thought of is when I'm in a hotel room for only three days, like if I'm at a beach location, I probably am not going to exercise every day. So I do not need my regular tennis shoes from my regular exercise. So I would use, I would borrow like um, an exercise mat. And then I would also just go barefooted. I love Paula B. You have to spell it differently. She's for over 50 people, but she does weights and all that kind of thing. So same oblong shape. I'm going to pack that over here. And I think I actually packed these here, okay? So now I have that space in between my suitcase handles. I have so many sets of their packing cubes that compress, so that's why they're mixed and match. I love their National Park set. They're so cute. I've given them away as gifts. 
Okay, then I have shorts. I have like seven of them. It's like springtime, which it was also supposed to pour down rain, like 90% chance of rain, and it did pour. <laughs> this is a fantastic raincoat. The hood removes, but the main tip is do not forget that you want your hood to cinch, especially if it's blowing rain. And what my tip is for a raincoat when you're traveling is to put it, once you zip up each side, you're going to put that or anything bulky like a heavy sweater or sweatshirt or a pair of jeans even in between the two sides. And then when you close it, they're going to smush it <laughs> and squish it. But you may want to detach the hood of your rain jacket and then just pack the jacket and an umbrella if you don't have that much of a chance of rain. Leggings are super easy to pack. Those teenagers know what they're doing. Now they're all wearing sweatsuits, okay? But leggings for one of the days when it was gonna be raining, a really long t-shirt and my jacket, which I forgot to grab. But those are going to go in one cube. One tip to help you, no matter what size you are, is to make your folding shape or your rolling shape either as long or as short, if that makes sense. So I'm going to unfold this and make it longer. And you can tell it does not have to be perfect. <laughs> See how much room we're going to have to pack in there? I made it the same length. Now I'm going to pack my shorts. So I fold those over again. And the thicker part, which is the waistband, I'm gonna have on this end of the cube because there's some open space there. My tip is do not fill your compression cubes too full otherwise they will not really compress and it's not being effective in helping you fit it all in that carry-on suitcase one of the complaints of our youtube viewers is that they need um, they don't like using compression cubes because it means you can then pack more and they are restricted on how much weight they can put in that carry-on suitcase so you can see that I'm using the smaller cube, but it's a little bulkier, but let's just see how it fits. I'm going to fit it in between these two cubes. I could also fit it across the bottom of my suitcase or if it's easier for you to view, the top of my suitcase, see? And I still have all this open space. The reason why I thought this was such a good packing method is because I have a little bit more open space. Now, if I needed to pack another pair of jeans, I still could in another of their set. And then I was also wearing this sweater to go out to eat, and I was wearing them with these jeans. I wore this shirt as my travel day outfit, and this sweater, is like a sweater t-shirt okay it's still available and i think that's because on their website it was it's white so you can't tell how cute it is but i'm wearing a size large and i'm 5'8 size 10. this is a fun dress now i've just folded it up like i'm going to pack in my other cubes but i'm going to make it a little longer another tip for packing in compression cubes is it's easy to make them lopsided and you want them all to be the same uh level or the same plane so that you're making the same height of surfaces if that makes sense and see so you just zip the first zipper and then with no vacuum cleaner no super loud noises it just compresses the air between those okay so here's my other one and you can see i already still have space more space than i did than when I used the larger compression cubes. They even make them for like checked bags, so they're even larger. Now I can pack other shoes if you need waterproof ones. I wore these as my travel day outfit. You can fit them, like I said, in Amazon bags or their shoe bags. Um, and remember with shoes, you do not have to pack them together. That might be a hack to help open up more space in your carry-on suitcase. So I would now fit all of my other things in there. My tip for electronic cables is you, the most important travel tip if you're flying in an airplane with a carry-on suitcase is, if you have a cell phone charger, it is lithium ion battery. So the battery part of your cell phone charger or something like that cannot go into the belly of the airplane because it's combustible. Like flight attendants they have these long gloves and these 
tongs that will, um, and these bags that will extinguish a fire if they do catch on fire by your seat squishing it and or them just combusting. So I just usually keep my electronics bag in my backpack or my tote bag. But you can see how much space I have available. My, if you have TSA pre-check, remember, it does not have to be in your personal item bag. So before you leave your house, you can even pack that liquids bag in your suitcase, okay? We're treating it like a puzzle. We might need to take some things out if that helps you pack. This is a new makeup pouch. It's, I'm not in love with it yet, but I have been using it now twice. For some people, if you like to pack one makeup case for your trip, that's an idea for you. It's I really like it because it matches my other toiletry kit, but that's an idea for you. All right, so you can see that it does make a difference. Look, it's like, see how much space is left? All right, if you think of any travel hacks for packing in a carry-on suitcase, let us know. All links are going to be in the first pinned comment for you, as well as in the paragraph below there. You can also shop my travel outfits, vacation outfits on the free LTK app. You just tap on the item that I'm wearing and it shows you, like it takes you directly to that website if it helps.